hello everyone welcome back to our channel so today we are here with one more interview experience so today i'm going to share you unices interview questions and these questions were shared by one of our subscriber friend i'll show you the email at the end of the slides so coming to the questions so basically sorry this was for four years four plus years experience guy and the guy has cleared the round as well so hope we may get the second round interview questions as well very soon so first question was tell me about your roles and responsibilities so this is a basic uh, uh, conversation starting question to be honest like uh, explain your project architecture or explain your roles and responsibilities like what all you things you do in day and don't so this basically these type of questions are used to start the conversation so we have to explain all the roles and what all responsibilities we take you know, and what all things we do in day to day our day to day life activities second question explain like it was about solid principle so basically so solid stands for single responsibility principle s stands for single responsibility o stands for open close principle l stands for liskov substitution principle i for interface segregation d for dependency inversion so basically single single uh, single responsibility principle states that every class must perform a single functionality only so like similarly so o for open uh, open close open for uh, extension and close for modification l for lisco substitution principle which states the parent uh, like derived class must be completely substitu substitutable for the base classes i for integration inter sorry interface segregation which means like uh, we should segregate interface in such a way that the classes which are implementing those interfaces sh uh, should not be forced to override some methods and in the last is i sorry d d for dependency inversion so what exactly that means is so instead of having concrete implementations we should uh, have an abstraction like uh, what i can say um, like high high level models should be uh, dependence on low level models through abstraction it should not be concrete it should be a di uh, abstraction layer so that was our solid principle next concurrent hash map internal structure so basically concurrent hash map uses uh segments so based on the segments how uh, it works so uh, the difference between hash map and concurrent hash map is whenever like the major difference comes in the multi threaded environments so whenever uh, a single thread is acting on upon hash map and it, if it is synchronized the entire hash map will be synchronized there but uh, whereas coming to concurrent hash map only the segment on which the thread is acting will be locked and uh, remaining all threads can simultaneously access the get operation it can be performed on everything what if we don't override hash code method in sorry what if we don't override the hash code method in hash map oh, okay so basically if you are not overriding the hash code and if you are using the default or if you are not properly overriding the hash code method uh, there are chances that high uh, hash collision will happen and if there are chances that uh, all the objects will go and store it it's the same index so while fetching the uh well get performing the get operation uh, it 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 may lag some time there so that is one thing or and the even if you are not overriding the hash code and equals method the contract will break so there are chances that duplicate uh, objects go and reside over there only if we are not overriding the hash code hash code and equals method properly next question exception and error definition so errors error what uh, so error basically indicate serious problems that a reasonable application should not try to catch so basically uh, out of memory uh, like what i can say like any connection failures this type of errors where basically errors should not be handled uh, whereas exceptions are the scenarios where we uh, where a normal flow can be stopped based on some conditions or you can say that uh, exception indicates the condition that a reasonable application might want to catch so exception basically again at runtime or uh, compile time itself like we may there are two types of exceptions as we all know like checked and unchecked exceptions so checked exceptions are catched at uh, compile time itself and runtime exceptions we need to have try catch blocks so next question how to write custom exception so this is a simple question like if we are extending the exception class and overriding the and sorry from the constructor of the custom exception we need to call the super class constructor and in that way we can do there are different ways as well this was a simple way 
singleton class how to implement it so basically singleton is nothing but in in java singleton means only one application like one uh, instance per one per jvm so to implement it we need to have a, a static uh, sorry private constructor a static uh, private variable which holds the instance of that class and a public static uh, instance method which returns the instance and insta inside that get instance method or get object method we need to have our logic functional interface and stream so basically functional interface and streams are introduced in java 8 so functional interface is nothing but only having one uh, abstract method inside it and it, it would be annotated with a thread functional interface and streams there are like basically streams are used to process the the streams act upon the collection of object data and it is used to process the data based on different filters different conditions and uh, different uh, conversion we can do that difference between singleton and session prototype okay this was this is in spring so singleton and session prototype singleton and session prototype i didn't get maybe singleton session and prototype so basically singleton is uh, one <coughs> instance per application context session is for a uh, one object per session complete session and prototype is whenever we are making a call and we whenever we are requesting the object a new object will be returned there explain about spring security uh, so i am not sure on this so i don't know like about spring security i haven't worked on this how do you call api in your app and validate it I don't know like what exactly this means how to call an API in your application and validate it so how do we call using if you are uh, from the UI we if we are at all we are using angular then using HTTP component we can make a call or if we are if we want to make an inter API calls we can use rest template there how do you handle DB error in your application so this completely depends upon application to application like how you are handling your DB error exceptions or errors how do you call a DB query in your spring app uh, we can make use of uh, uh, JDBC templates or we can make use of uh, JPS here so th this again depends on your uh, application so we use in one project simple jdbc template and we used to make the call now we are using my batteries in one application we have used hibernate so it completely depends on the application why spring boot so maybe the question was on what uh, like why spring boot like basically in the development purpose it helps a lot like it comes off with bunch of uh, dependencies uh, that gets downloaded with just by having starter pumps and we can start our application coding right away instead of uh, uh, what i can say uh, instead of concentrating on the application setup we can directly concentrate on the application logic well our business logic there so that is why spring boot is helpful about actuator so basically actuator is used to uh, monitor the runtime like real time application health like uh, matrices different matrices can be accessed to actuator if you are configuring the actuator properly and uh, we can uh, see like how many beans got initialized or th thread dump we can watch we can see the health of the uh, different urls or apis most used annotations and its explanation so it, this again depends on person to person vary like mostly we may use like at the red, if we are using spring boot application we will definitely use at the red spring boot application if you are using spring then we can go with at the red component at the red service at the red controller or rest controller at the red uh, uh, so repo service and repository at the red auto void at the red qualifier there are many so we can explain about each and everything what are microservices so basically uh, microservices like uh, if you see one service is uh, dedicated to do only one uh, like one what I can say one work so basically that are microservices like each service will be having only one functionality that to perform so like suppose if at all uh, there is a microservice called Z uh, find city so if if it if it takes the zip code and it will return the city name so that is the only work that will do whenever we pass any number to it like postal code or zip code it will uh, return the city to which that zip code belongs to so that is the only one a simple example i am saying here so that was these were the questions that were shared to us so this was the mail that we got so you can see experience uh, four years clear the round please add my name okay so this were the list of questions that were there 
okay so this was about the unisys round one interview question uh, i hope this video helped you Uh, if you like this video subscribe video like comment share feedback and if you are on our channel for the first time you can visit our channel and watch different videos there as well so who are we so basically we are a bunch of like software engineers who attend interviews with different mnc's and share our real time interview experiences through these videos you can visit our channel and you can see lot of uh, questions already a lot of videos that I, we have already shared and we have also sharing our subscriber friends uh, who are sharing with us their interview experiences through these videos so if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe so you can see the name of the mnc that we have already shared in our channel so more than i feel like currently more than 100 plus videos we have already shared so if you haven't subscribed you can subscribe and enjoy the videos and there are many other videos that are coming up in the future and if you don't want to miss those things you can subscribe and press the bell icon and thank you for